guys, middle of the night, Andy on his driveway with a camera, everyone sleeping around him already. <laughs> no, no, this will not be another special episode. Um, I actually have forgotten to plug in the car, as I do sometimes. And we also, we also, ah, cables. Um, I'm also doing a little bit of experiment and a little bit of a test again, of course. Um, the next couple of days will be very similar in terms of our weather forecast. So we will have about 10 degrees in the morning, morning temperature. I want to see what kind of settings on the EVSE warms up the battery the most. I'll do this for two reasons, because I want to see shit dark here. Um, I want to do this for two reasons. I want to find out in winter time what is the best setting to warm up the battery to make it warmer in the morning when we leave and to get more efficiency out of the battery. And of course the second test will be to determine what is the best setting in summertime when it's hot out down here in uh, Australia. And I don't want to warm up the battery even more. Where do we get the most heat loss? Which setting? Um, we will start with the 6 amp setting tonight. Um, I start the charge at 1 a.m. and it will be finished about 7.30, so close to our departure time. And I'll do the same test the next couple of days with the 10 amp and the 15 amp setting and see what kind of temperatures we have in the battery. Come on, focus. Okay, we are currently charging with 80 watts. So anyway, we are fully charged so far and the battery temperature will not rise anymore. So let's check this. So on the 6 amp settings, after about 6 hours of charging, we have battery temperature 18 on 23 degrees. And 18, 23 degrees. Okay, I'm just writing this down. Just, just where? Okay, so 6 amp. And this is after six hours. Just putting this information in here as well, just in case we need this. You can you can never have enough information and data. So we are leaving the car with 27.1% uh, state of charge this evening. And I'm setting up the EVSE to 10 amps now and see what the battery temperature is tomorrow morning. Ten amp. That's what we want. I'm gonna turn it off again. So I'm typing in twenty seven point seven percent state of charge. This little app here will this is just a Google spreadsheet here, so I can see at six amp setting it will take eight point zero five kilowatt hours and it will take six point three hours. So with this little Excel spreadsheet here, I can see at um, different charging times for 6 amp, 10 amp and 15 amp. And I just type in my actual state of charge at the moment. And it tells me to fully charge to 100%, it takes 8.17 kilowatt hours. Or in um, 6.4 hours with the 6 amp settings. 3.9 hours 10 amp settings and 2.9 hours at 15 amp settings. Okay, let's see what the 10 amp setting does to the battery tomorrow morning. So I go into my schedule and if it takes about four hours to charge, I start at three o'clock in the night. So the charge will be finished at seven o'clock in the morning and I'm heading off at 7.30. Click the save button. All right. So starting at three o'clock in the night, 10 amp setting. Good morning. Welcome to 10 amp morning. 
<laughs> okay, we have a look. The Sonoff app shows me we are charging with 600 watts only. So I think we must have finished or is about to finish. Um, so far 7.23 kilowatt hours, 3 hours and 3.5 and hours. Charging with 2.5 amp at the moment. We are at 100.3% state of charge and the battery temperature is 20 and 24. So just a little bit warmer than yesterday on the 6 amp setting. And I'm just using the PHEV Watchdog 094 for the first time now. And you can see these are the new figures here which are very 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 super high important to compare batteries together. I'll um, talk about this in a later episode. So 10 amp. So, so far it looks like the 10 amp setting is causing a little bit more heat stress in the battery. You can see it's only one degree difference. But so far it seems like it's warming up the battery more than the 6 amp setting even if we have charged only for half of the time. Okay, let's wait until tomorrow morning for the 15 amp setting and what temperature we get then. That's just genius, this app. Okay. 10 amps. 15 amps full power. So, 15 amp setting tonight. The charge, the charge will take less than three hours, I think. So, I will start at four o'clock. Charge should be finished at seven. Yeah, we are just checking on the dog this morning. <laughs> so, 15 amp setting, 7 kilowatt hours in 2.45 minutes, 2 hours 45 minutes. And we are charging with um, 500, 600 watts at the moment. So, we are close to finish this charge. Let's have a look at the dog beautiful how it connects first time every time do some calculations and here we are oh that was very quick so we are at 101.7 percent and the more interesting side is the far leftmost okay we are at 19 and 23 degrees surprisingly 19 23 so, and this is a three hour charge. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> Too many buttons in here. Too many buttons. Hey, good morning, guys. I last night I was editing this video about the different EVSE settings and the resulting temperature and the battery in the morning, and I realized somehow I stopped. So, for summary, hang on. Yeah, so for some reason I didn't make any more videos about this topic. I just showed you the result and that's it. There was no other video. <laughs> I must admit I have filmed and recorded this video a couple of weeks ago, so it's not up to date. You can see the state of health um, is a little bit higher still as it is right now. And um, so I need to, um, yeah, I just wanted to explain what actually happened with these um, different settings. If you charge your car on 6 amp, 10 amp or 15 amp, it 
seems it does not really matter in terms of battery temperature in the morning we had fairly constant um, outside temperature so it is quite comparable what I did and regardless what setting I used to charge the battery the temperature was almost the same in the morning and to be honest 6 10 or 15 amp is a very very small and low current for the big battery if you see we are driving on the flat road here and I'm driving let's say constant 52 kilometers per autometer 48 we are using already 22 amps 24 amps out of the battery this is with 50 kilometers per hour and this is already more than the highest setting you can choose on the EVSE this is more than the car can actually charge with this internal charger 72 kilometers per hour and the current is over 30 amps already so twice as much as the maximum charging speed anyway with a built-in charger so there's no way that 6 amp or 10 amp can heat up the battery more than if you drive so regardless what kind of setting you choose on the EVSE, it does not matter. It will not heat up the battery more or less. I thought there's a little bit of more dis uh, difference because um, 6 amp takes obviously 6, 7, 8 hours depending to charge the car. So you have this 1.3 kilowatt constantly for 6 hours going through the battery. And I thought it will warm up the battery a little bit more. But obviously it's not. So, and if the setting, if the charging speed does not matter in terms of battery temperature, why would you even choose a lower setting on the EVSE? Why would you choose to, to charge with 10 amp or even with 6 amp for over 7 hours? Well, the reason for this is very simple. You're putting a lot of stress on your own electricity installation, of course. 15 amp is pretty much the max, the maximum your circuit where the EVSE is plugged in can do. This is the maximum your cable can supply and you probably don't want to max this out all the time. It is fine if you are if you are in a timely situation and you need to recharge your car fast. As you may have seen this in my other videos when I don't have time I crank up the EVSE to 15 amp and charge as fast as possible but usually at this point of time I'm around at the car so I can monitor the situation as an electrician I really don't like to max out the circuit for over two or three hours the cables are getting a little bit warm they are not getting hot it's not dangerous to do but still you're putting more stress on your on your electrical installation than with a lower setting so if you use the granny charger with only 10 amp setting that's totally fine and if you even use the 6 amp setting I I usually use the 6 amp that's even better because there's almost no load on the on the electrical installation on the cables on the connections very safe to use and as you saw in the holiday videos I usually take the switchable EVSE with me as well and charge on 6 amp only overnight because you've got 10 12 hours time anyway to charge the car so why would you plug it in on 15 amp full power and it's ready after three hours and then you don't use it anyway for the next eight hours so charge as slow as possible it makes it safer and it's just a little bit more peace of mind I think okay guys I hope I have wrapped up this video now and I can finish and finalize and upload it to YouTube I don't know I stopped in the middle of recording somehow I don't know and then I never continued with the actual result of the whole test <laughs> oh. and as you have seen 10 degrees in the morning this was our winter um, test in in regards to the battery temperature well this is what we have in winter in the morning sometimes 10 degrees it doesn't get too cold in this area here I probably should I probably should repeat this test again in summertime when we have high temperatures above 40 degrees and see if the charging speed makes a difference there because of course in summer in summertime we don't want to heat up the battery more we want to 
leave it cool down, let it cool down when we come home as far as possible before we charge up. And here I can probably imagine it makes a difference if we charge for six, seven hours or if we charge only for three hours. And we have to also factor in the battery needs to cool down after charging a little bit before we start driving again. So we need to charge in the middle of the night, give it a rest after we come home and then give it another rest after charging. And this could be very close with a 6M setting actually, because it takes so long. So I probably do another of these tests in summertime and really high temperatures. We will probably have about 25, 30 degrees during the night and I try to find a, a weather window which gives us a um, fairly constant and the same temperature overnight. Okay guys, so far then uh, thanks for watching this old video, this older video and um, you stay charged we will see us in the next video uh, we will see us in the next video i said video before so i need to okay try again okay guys as always thanks for watching thanks for your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off you stay charged and we will see us in the next video oh, that's much better this up at the end just doesn't make sense anymore i need to follow this the first thing thanks for watching thanks for your support this is andy unplugged off, stay charged, and we'll see you in the next video, and that's it. These are the four things I need to say. Very easy. I don't know why I mix it up sometimes.